So in today's video, I'm going to show you another way to find open redirection that will help you a lot in your bug bounty hunting as well as in your penetration testing. Now, before going into this video, if you haven't checked out my previous video in which I've shown you how we can hack into JW tokens uh, by brute forcing the secret key, then go ahead and check it out. The link is given in the description as well as you can see it on the right side of the screen. Now, finally, let's get started. Also, if you are uh, new to our channel and if you don't know about our website yet which is bepractical.tech then go ahead and type bepractical.tech on your browser we have awesome labs related to cyber security as well as web, web development so you can practice and increase your account takeover skills cyber security skills as well as your web development skills all you need to do is just head over to the cyber security section then click on labs and currently we have account takeover labs and all of these labs are based on real world scenarios so yeah go ahead and check them out and all of these labs are free so go ahead and improve your hacking skills now finally, let's get started for this video. So the tool that we are going to use in this particular uh, video is known as Web Webster, which is written by me. And I've written this tool for you in order to find open redirection vulnerability. Now, the key feature of this tool is that it can find open redirection on authenticated points. Now, uh, other tools that we see on GitHub, they generally don't have th this feature that allow us to, uh, you know, test for different payloads on authenticated endpoints. We can use Burp Suite uh, Pro Edition, but it will cost us money, right? So this tool will do us uh, do, the, do the job for free. Now, the second important thing is dynamic payload generator. Now, suppose th that there is a target that allows only a specific domain to redirect. Now, with this tool, you can just specify the whitelist domain and it will generate special payloads for the domain that you have provided and specially craft a payload for your uh, uh, for your dedicated uh, application, right? The third and the most important thing is that it is quite fast. It can uh, traverse over 800 plus payloads within three to four seconds if your internet is quite good. And the fourth is that it is quite easy to use. We, we are going to see that how we can install it in our machine and how we can use it. And we can easily customize this tool. We can add our custom payloads that will help us to uh, get the pro increase the probability of uh, getting bugs more, right? So now let us see that how we can install this tool in our machine and yeah, feel free to give me any feedback if you have uh, any issues regarding this tool or if you want to add some uh, improvement, if you want to con contribute in this tool, then yeah, go ahead and you can do it and you can just uh, message me on YouTube or you can message me on LinkedIn and I'll be happy to add more improvements in this tool. Now, first of all, in order to install this tool, what we need to do is we need to copy this link and then we need to head over to our uh, Kali Linux machine. So as you can see, I'm over here. So let me just get rid of it, right click. Now, let us type git clone to clone this repository in our machine. Hit enter. It is going to take some time depending on internet connection. As you can see, it has already cloned. So I'm just going to move to this uh, directory. And here we have. We have only three things in this uh, tool currently, right? We have the payload file and if I over show you the data so it is around 859 payloads in it and the second thing is we have the requirements file so currently it's not there but we need to install some of the tools that i'm going to show you and i will add a requirements or txt later on so the first tool is uh, the colorama so we can install it by typing this uh, and it will be installed in your machine the second one is requests so it comes pre-installed in machine and if you get some error then as you can see it is showing that requirement already satisfied and the third is url lib yeah only these two three tools are needed and as you can see it is showing that I could not find a matching version but don't worry about it it comes pre-installed in your machine or, or if there is some issue then you can just type url lib3 and i think it should install in your machine yeah as you can see in my case it is showing the requirement already satisfied right now let me just clear this and let us see that how we can use this tool to uh, to find open redirection vulnerabilities right so the first thing that we need to do is we need to type python 3 open redirection uh, sorry webster.py and we can specify minus h to see what this uh, tool has to offer right so we have currently this uh, five things so we have we can provide minus u for the url minus p for the payload file minus 3 to increase the speed minus w for specify the whitelist domain and minus e for cookies on authenticated endpoints right so let me clear this and let's try to use this first on uh, non authenticated endpoints so suppose that if our target is something like this suppose this is our target 
to uh, let's say uh, dashboard for example suppose this is our target now in order to find open interaction vulnerabilities what we can do we can just copy this link and we can type over here python3 webster.py minus u for the url flag just paste this link minus y for the whitelist domain so which domain is already allowed by this particular application so generally the domain on which the application is hosted is allowed so we are going to type that so test php dot .com. you need to fuzz on it on your own and you need to find some whitelist uh, domains that are currently getting allowed so that we can uh, you know just uh, increase the chances of getting bugs right after that we have to specify minus p for the payload file and finally minus t this will uh, be used to increase the number of fish now if I type 100 the speed will be normal but if I type 1 or 2 the speed will be comparatively very faster so let me show you so if I type 2 let's hit enter let's see what happens as you can see we successfully got these many parameters that are uh, vulnerable these many payloads that are uh, you know redirecting to this particular application example.com as you can see let us wait and in my case my internet is a little bit uh, slower than uh, usual so that's why I'm uh, the program is running a little slow so as you can see it has traversed through 859 payloads in a span of maybe 4 to 5 seconds and it can even go up to 2 to 3 seconds if your internet connection is high the uh, speed is high now for example let us copy one of these payloads to see whether we are getting redirected or not so for example let's say this one let's say or we can just copy this one let's say whether we are getting redirection on this particular uh, endpoint or not so I'm just going to open my browser let's open incognito let us paste this and let's see what happens let us just wait and meanwhile we can have some other payloads as well let's say <coughs> sorry let's use some other payloads for example anything anything will be fine let's say this one or maybe this one let's just copy this and in the browser let us just paste it in the new tab so my internet is little bit slow please don't mind so let us just wait for a few seconds as you can see it has successfully redirected us to example.com we can try other payloads that is showing as vulnerable maybe this one let me just copy this let's just paste it over here let us just wait for a few seconds and as you can see we again got redirected to example.domain example.com we can use any payload that we want some payloads may occur some error but if the application is uh, flagged as vulnerable by this tool which means that around there is a 99 95 to 96% chance that this application is indeed vulnerable right let me show you this one so let's just wait again and as you can see again we got redirected to example.com right now that we have seen that how we can use this tool on unauthenticated endpoints let us try to understand how we can use this tool if the uh, endpoint is requiring some kind of authentication so suppose that we have a live application over here for example let's suppose we have this application uh, which have a uh, return URL parameter so it is uh, probably vulnerable to open redirection right but as you can see we need to perform the authentication in order to uh, in order to execute this particular return URL uh, parameter right so for that so let me just refresh it real quick so let us open our burp suit in the background so that we can capture the request now what we need to do we need to specify the username and password that we have uh, created from the registration functionality I have already created mine and now let us just intercept the request to capture the cookies right so here we are here we have the cookies and now we can just capture it so I'm just gonna first of all let me just copy the URL uh, from here so copy the uh, vulnerable URL and then we can type python3 the tool name which was webster minus u paste the link and then use minus c flag to specify the cookies right and inside the cookies I'm just gonna copy all these values so I'm just gonna copy it from here and let's just paste it in between this single quote and now we need to provide the payload file and the whitelisted domain which is obviously over here is the panichealers.com healers.com 
and finally what we can do we can just provide the thread which should be around 100 right and after all this so I'm just gonna forward my perp suit from here and let us see whether this tool is able to find the vulnerability or not let's hit enter let's just wait for a few seconds and as you can see we got a vulnerable payload that was executed successfully let's just wait okay we got two uh, URL and there are multiple URLs over here that multiple payloads that are uh, getting reflected that are uh, possibly causing open direction right so I'm just gonna stop it right here let us test each of this payload to see whether uh, this is working or it is a false positive so I'm just gonna copy one of these from here let's say anything we can copy let's say I copy this and let's just paste it from here and let's see whether we are redirected to example.com or not and as you can see we perfectly got redirected to example.com which means that this parameter was indeed vulnerable to uh, open redirection right and it can uh, traverse over 859 payloads and you can add more payloads in it and the speed is quite amazing right if I just lower the thread from 100 to let's say uh, 2 let's hit enter and let's wait and as you can see the speed is quite fast over here we got so many payloads reflecting right so I'm just gonna stop it and yeah this is it so do check this out the link is given in the description just clone it and just install it and let me know your thought on, thoughts on this and also I'm currently running two courses on Udemy the first one is hacking windows with python where you'll learn that how we can create our own python tool that can be used to hack any windows machine and that will be fully undetectable by any antiviruses till now the second one, the second course is Bug Bounty, the ultimate guide to hunt account takeovers, where you will learn that how you can perform account takeovers, how you can dive deep into a particular functionality, and how you can find the juicy information that will ultimately get you some bounties, that will ultimately get you the account takeover vulnerability. And we are going to see a lot of things in this particular course, and also we are going to see some live demonstration on live websites. So yeah, go ahead and check that out. The link of these two courses are also given in the description. And final thing is that you can join our telegram community to stay updated with the latest trends and technologies that are currently going on in cyber security as well as web development so the link is uh, visible on the screen as well as you can just click on the link given in the description and you will be redirected to our telegram community go and join our community and if you have some doubts then free feel free to ask and let's meet there so with that being said if you have any doubts if you have any issues then please let me know in the comment section thanks for watching